after Karate Kid, before Cobra Kai. Yes, there was many, many sequels. Here we go, Karate Kid Part 3, and the next Karate Kid on Blu-ray. Let's open it up and see what's going on inside. Are they going to teach us how to open up and peel off? I'm not sure if that would defend me or not, but I'm an expert at doing it. Here we go. Here's your front cover. I'm not surprised this, you know, was released as a double feature. I am surprised that Mill Creek is the one that released it, though. What? Like, this is Karate Kid movies. Karate Kid is a major staple, and yet, for some reason, it gets a Mill Creek release? Wow. I'm surprised that, uh, who is it, Columbia Pictures, and whoever owns them these days, did not uh, get on top of that. But here we go, there's your back. There's a ton to take in there, so you know what to do. Hit that pause button, and you can read it all you want. And then when we, oh, oh my god. Well, what did I expect from Mill Creek? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Nothing. No inserts, no discs artwork, no reversible artwork, um, at least <laughs> this is, as far as I can tell, let me pull this out, yeah, it is a standard case, and the disc is pressed, but that's, that's it, like, this is kind of bare bones, and it's a double feature, and that's what we get from Mill Creek, but that's okay, we still got Karate Kid 3 and 4 on Blu-ray, hello! Anyways, comment down below if you're a fan of the any of the Karate Kid movies, Cobra Kai series, whatever. Love to hear from you. Keep everything spoiler free as always. I haven't yet watched Cobra Kai. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, do love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Take care. Have a good one.